Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be going through my everyday makeup basket for October of 2020. October is like my favorite year. Favorite? Oh my god, did I just stroke? <laughs> October is like my favorite month. It's got Halloween, it's got my anniversary, it's my favorite season, which is fall. It just October is best month, hands down. I love it. So I'm super excited to pick out makeup for this. And also excited to clean this out because the, the, it's a mess again. At the end of every month, this is just a mess because I don't want to do too much until the next video. And so I end up just piling stuff on top and then it turns into this. So anyway, let's go through, clean out the basket, and then we'll stop. Slop. Jesus Christ. So let's go ahead, clean this out, and then we can put the makeup back and shop my stash. All right, so in this container right here, I'm gonna keep this in here. These are all the black lipsticks I'm gonna be using in my next Best and Worst of Black Lipsticks video, which is going to come out at some point in October. I don't know the exact day yet, but it will be coming out. Um, and then this is another black lipstick. We shall move that over. I have my lotion right over here. This I got um, like some free NYX samples in um, an Ulta order I placed just a little bit ago. So I'm gonna pull these out because I do want drop that I do want to bring some of these in so let's see. oh that's a matte setting spray I don't want to use that right now it's not a good time for matte setting sprays this is a cute butter gloss I do like their butter glosses Ooh, I could definitely use this so I want to bring in this pore filling primer I do like a pore filling primer and then this finishing powder so I'll put them like just right here until we get to that drawer setting sprays I think we are good I've got just a little bit left of this Milani make it last so I'm gonna finish it up and then I've got this pixie setting spray you're gonna see a lot of pixie products in the basket if you missed my pixie haul I will have that up in the cards I'm finally finally have enough products to do a full thorough test of pixie and like give you like from an unbiased perspective ie someone who's never gotten pixie PR what I think about everything so let's see, mascaras were good. I'm currently using this Pixie Mascara and this Radial Mascara from my last Try Beauty box. You know what, I'm gonna keep this yellow eyeliner from ColourPop. I'm gonna move in, move this back into my collection. The red lipsticks, I'm gonna be focusing on black lipsticks for this month, so the red I'm gonna move back. And then I think I'm gonna keep these Pixie lipsticks. I've got a red, I've got a berry, and then I've got a nude. I'll just move those up. Ooh, Rebel Rose. I love Rebel Rose. We're gonna keep that. That's such a good fall lipstick. And then this lip gloss. I'm not really reaching for it too much. I'll move that into my collection for just a little bit. And then we should be good over here. Alright, so for drawer number one. I finished the Wet n Wild foundation that I pulled in, so I moved that to my empties. I want to keep this Pixie Beauty Balm in here. It's actually been really impressing me and I need to keep testing it. So we're going to keep that. I've got this green concealer I'm also going to keep. I do want to swap out these two concealers and just use something else from my collection for a bit. And then this Pixie um, Skin Drink Primer. I used like half of this, so I, I do want to save it and like try it in like a few weeks when it gets a little bit colder because I do want to test it more. So I'm going to put this back into my primer drawer. Since we are moving down this NYX Pore Primer, I'm going to move the Revolution Primer back into my collection. And then for powders, I'm going to stick to these two samples. So I've got the NYX Pressed Powder, and then I have this KVD Kindness Vegan and Beauty with Vegan and Kindness Powder. Um, and I'm going to use that. And then for eye primer, I'm going to keep my Crow and Pebble. It's like halfway done, so I'm going to just keep using it because I like it. Got my little poof poof. I still haven't used the sample of the Beauty Blender foundation, so I really want. I'll just take it out of the cook that and put it in like that. I need to take out my trash. <laughs> so here's where the first drawer is looking. You ready to see a hot mess? This is a hot mess. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so first things first. I finished. Um, I actually frankened the rest of my. Uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, so I brought in this Maybelline Super Stay. The Pixie Blushes, I'm gonna move, these are um, cream blushes, I'm gonna move them back into my collection for a bit. So I tried them a few times, I, I, I have to say, I have not found a way with foundation that those look good. So I'm thinking I'm gonna test them more with like no makeup on, like for a no makeup makeup day. But I'm not gonna have one of those for like a little bit. I'm actually, so I'm gonna be 
uh, spending a weekend away and I'm not really gonna be wearing makeup then so I might bring those with me just to you know, try them on a no makeup makeup day um I love this face palette from Midas Cosmetics but I've been using it like non-stop so I do want to swap it out and give some other face palettes some love this is in a pan <laughs> pan that palette this is in a project pan oh this is staying this absolute pumpkin-y goodness is gonna stay in here hmm Hmm. I, I want to keep this Pixie Fairy Lights. This light green is like beautiful for matching with green looks. These Pixie pencils, the shade sticks, are just kind of... They're alright, but I'm going to move them into my collection just for a little bit. Alright, these... Natasha Denona Liquid Chromium Shadows. I adore these. If I did a whole video all about these. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards. But I love these. Um, and I've been reaching for them a lot, actually. So I think I'm going to move them... To the bottom drawer where I just have like a perpetual cache of just liquid shadows. So I think I'm gonna scoot these over because I keep reaching for these so I'm gonna just put these there next to my little the bird things. Okay this pixie blush I'm gonna swap out just for a bit I've got a lot of blushes in here and I do want to just take my time and go through all of them. These are new blushes from Cover Effects that I haven't even actually gotten to like fully test out yet. They're the duos. They are gorgeous. So I do actually want to keep them in here and use them. Uh, I got the Pixie Fairy Lights. We've got my color tattoo for my brows. We have my loose shadows and my palette from my HP Project Pan. And then these MAC lipsticks I did use a couple of them and I'm just like meh so we're gonna get rid of that <laughs> okay and so I think we're done I'll bring the powder back up actually there's room I think I want to put the powder in the first drawer there we go drawer number three is also a hot mess <laughs> oof okay so I have to eat my words a bit. I was so excited for this NYX Ultimate palette and then I tested it out and it's honestly a bit disappointing. I know, sad. Um, so I'm gonna move this back into my collection for just a bit. Same with these Pixie eyeshadow palettes. I was actually pretty shocked at how like not fantastic they are. So I'm gonna move these two, these are like face and eye palettes into my collection for a bit. I will keep the cool toned, I think this is the Natural Beauty palette. I'll keep this in here for a little bit longer. And then this one, because I did pick this up. This wasn't included in my haul because I did just pick it up. This is one of their new palettes called Hazelnut Haze. And I'm also testing this one out. So this is gonna stay here. And I'm debating on, I mean, I want to keep like nice grungy dark shades in here for October. Yeah, I'm going to keep this <laughs> right there. Okay, and then for this last drawer, this Physician's Formula box. I just mentioned before that I'm going to be away for a weekend and I'm not really going to be wearing makeup. But am I still going to pack a whole thing of makeup to bring with me? Yes. Yes, I will. Uh, I like traveling with this because it's literally got everything I need. So I'm probably going to put this to the side and just bring it with me when I go away for next weekend. Alright, so we've cleaned everything out. I'm going to put all this makeup back into my collection and then we will be back to shop my stash. Hello and welcome to my makeup stash that we are going to shop. Yeah. So, just a warning ahead of time. <laughs> I kind of got like the bug, the reorganization bug, where I suddenly looked at my collection and I was like, I need to rearrange everything. So I started doing that and then I realized, you know what? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna film it because I am planning to film a collection series, you know, later on in the fall, but I just needed to reorganize things because things just weren't fitting anymore, especially blushes. I just, I literally could not fit any more blushes in the blush drawer. So half of these drawers are empty and I started reorganizing and then I stopped. So you'll see some things are different and the rest I'm going to wait until like tonight <laughs> to finish or at least try to finish. So anyway, up here is still pretty much the same. Sponges, uh, tape for swatches, nail care, hair care, eyeliner. So here, it is October. I need black eyeliner and lots of it. 
All right, so I pulled out some of my favorite black liners. I got the Stila, I got the Esquito liner, I've got the Urban Decay Glide on Pencil, and then I got this long comb. If there was ever a month to do some crazy, crazy, dark, smoky eyes, it is October. Single shadows are still over here. Hmm. I think I'm okay for now. I've got some palette ideas I want to work with, and then like those liquid shadows I've just really been just like reaching for. I knocked it over. Okay, so I actually do want to pull some lash glue and some lashes because I want to film, I don't know if I'll have time, I want to film a Get Ready With Me inspired by LS, and so I really want to pick a thing of lashes for that. And then for my best and worst of black lipsticks video, since that's like one of my best performing videos, I want to go the extra step and like put lashes on. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed two of my most dramatic pairs of cat eye lashes. I love the cat eye look, and it just looks really pretty on my hooded eyes. So the AOA Studio, these are the Rita's. And then from Velour, these are the Sills. What? Is that what they're called? Sills? Nope, another shot of Wispy. That's the, sh that's the name. Got it. For liquid shadows, I just recently cleaned this out. Uh, not trying to drop anything. Oh, do I want to grab the Natasha Denona liquid? Liner? Mmm. Yes, I'm gonna grab this Natasha Dona black liner as well. Okay, and then I think we're good here. Yeah. Um, and this drawer is empty for now. Okay, so first off, these are all the blushes that won't fit in my blush drawer for right now, which is why I have to redo the blush drawer. Lip liners. I'm, I barely wear them, guys. I just don't. <laughs> my poor drawer. All right, uh, concealer. I need to pick a concealer. All right, so I picked these concealers. I've got the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer, and then I really wanna try using up my Dermacol. I have a whole backup of this Dermacol in my foundation drawer, and I wanna experiment with ways to like water it down and make it not as crazy full coverage and actually just get more use out of it. So I'm gonna bring this in. These next two drawers are now empty. Oh, nope, lied. This one has my bronzers and some contours, like the standalone ones. Hmm, I kind of want to grab a face palette, so I think I'm going to be okay with this for now. These are all my blushes. <laughs> this isn't even all the blushes. I got my blushes over here. I got my blushes over there. I think I am okay with blush for now because I've got my Franken blush palette which you'll see in my Pen That Palette update. And then I've got those cover effects blushes, so I think I'm okay for now. And then this is just electronics. So let's go ahead and jump into the Alex drawers. All right, so I rearranged this drawer just a tiny little bit. I've got samples up here. I've got um, my blush palette which is gonna get moved to the blush drawer when I reorganize it. And then my Z palettes with like my standalone depotted like highlighters and contours. So they just live up here with my color switch and then a couple of other samples that I have down here. Let me go through the foundation sample bag. I think we should pull another one. So from my foundation sample bag, I've got this Fenty um, and this comes with a, a sample of like both primers and then the hydrating foundation which I really want to try out and then the soft matte foundation so I'm gonna move this in try to use that up and then I think we should be good for this top drawer so this drawer looks very different I'm probably gonna reorganize this I thought I could fit all my foundation primers and setting sprays in here that's not gonna work. <laughs> also powders. So I'm probably gonna move out the powders and the setting sprays into a different drawer um, and then just keep this for foundations and primers. Also, this is the only, these are all, all the foundations I have, <laughs> not that many. I also may or may not have just bought two foundations online and I'm waiting for them to come in. But <laughs> for now, this is what we have. So I have that light, not, it's like a medium coverage, uh, like BB cream from Pixi. So what other, foundation do I I really want to bring in the stick foundation from makeup revolution this is the fast base stick foundation we'll do that how much is left in here is that a good amount oh uh, yeah that's a decent amount of product okay if there was if there was only a little bit left in here I might have picked another foundation but I think we are good there primer um so I got the primer sample and then we've got the NYX primer 
Do I want another primer? Kind of want to bring in this illuminating primer from Shop Miss A. So we'll do that. Okay, I already have a face powder and a setting spray, so I think we're good here. So this is the highlighter drawer. Uh, I'm still panning a highlighter, but it is Halloween, and I kind of want to go for some bright highlights. What should I bring out? I've also got blushes down here. Like, see, I've got so many blushes, they don't fit in that drawer. I gotta, I really need to reorganize this. Anyway, um, I think I want to grab a glow kit. I want to get the Dream Glow Kit. Those are pretty. I could work with those. Let's do that. For lipsticks, I am really going to be focusing on those black lipsticks. I kind of want to pick out the ColourPop and Sophia bullet lipsticks because those just scream Halloween, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just pull out all of these and see if I ever feel like using one of them. And then we should be set for lipsticks. Now for face palettes. There's honestly just one brand that jumped out to me for October. It's spoopy. It's creepy. It's an awesome contour and blush palette. Yes. Taking off all the boxes. Let's move over to eyeshadow. Can we take just a hot second to appreciate my spoopy redecorating on top of my eyeshadow palette bookshelf? Man, I, I told you guys, October's the month. October is the month. All right, so I'm looking down here. What am I feeling for this month? I'm definitely feeling orange. So that ColourPop orange palette, calling my name. I have a smoky palette. So what else am I wanting to reach for? Thinking of this palette from Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, the Elvira palette, is this just not the aesthetic? Beautiful, yes. So two palettes, and then I've got palettes in the Everyday Bank basket already as well. All right, so let me go ahead and organize all of this into my everyday makeup basket and we'll be back for the final reveal. All right, so here we are with the final basket. I threw all of the lipsticks over here, the Sophia and ColourPop lipsticks. This is the one that has the thing in the bottom. But they are really pretty and I don't really wear bullet lipsticks that often. So I'm gonna have to try and pull these out, at least for filming, you know, very least. Um, other than that, not much has changed up here on the top. Ooh, down here in drawer number one, we have our beauty balm. I don't need the white mixer in here. Yeah, I'm gonna move the white mixer back into my drawer because none of these need to be mixed for once. <laughs> so here we go. So we got the beauty balm. We've got my concealers. We got the NYX pore filler primer. We got the Dermacol. We have the ColourPop. We have our samples, the um, beauty blender, and then the Fenty, the AOA Studio primer my powders over there, the eye primer, and then my loose powder. Down here in drawer number two, we have the Dream Glow Kit, my Cover FX blushes, my Becca highlight. I should move this eyeshadow palette down to the next drawer. The Pixie Fairy Lights, the Natasha Denona black liner, and then the rest of my normal stuff that doesn't really change. <laughs> here we go, this is the spoopy drawer. <laughs> So we've got the Pixie palettes, we've got the palettes we just picked out. I put the lashes down here just because they fit here better. And then with the lash glues that I have over there. And last but not least, we've got the liquid shadows and then my contour palette. So that is everything for October. Best month, favorite month, best month. Let me know down below what you guys are going to be using for October. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.